Hello, it's the IT guys, and today in OpenOffice Writer, we're going to be looking at images. So, to start off, we're going to need to insert an image. To insert an image, you've got two options. First, you can copy and paste into Writer, or you can go Insert, come down to where it says Picture, and then you can either scan it in, or you can go from File. This will take you to Gallery. You can go to Pictures. I've put our logo in here already. So I'm going to click on that one and then click open. This will then take a second and then it will put your image into Writer. So now I've got it's a couple of options. What I want to first do is I want to show you how to crop your image. To do this, you right click and click where it says picture. This will open up this options menu. At the top, you need to click on where it says crop. Then you choose where you're going to crop. So I might want to chop the right hand side of my image off. So I don't have the 99 on the end. So I might go about there. Just say 30. And then I'm just going to click OK. And this is going to chop that side of my image off. So I can move it around and stuff. And I won't have that side of my picture. Just going to undo that. So we go back to the beginning. To resize the image, You've got these green boxes around the outside when you've got the image selected. Click and hold that image and drag with your mouse key until you've got the desired size. To move the image, as you saw me doing then, what you need to do is just click and hold the left mouse button down and drag your image around the page. What I want to do now is insert a border around my image. To do this, I right click, click picture. Then go to the heading that says borders. Then I have to select all borders from this menu. I can now choose, I want a thick line. I choose that thick line. And I'm going to go for it being red. So I'm now going to put, actually, I don't like red. I'm going to go for cyan. So I'm going to have a cyan border around our image. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I have this border around my image. And still resize it. You might want to set transparency to your image. This would allow you to see things behind your image. So, if you want to do that, you come to where it says transparency in this pop up picture menu. And you change the transparency to as high as you want. If you set it to 100%, it will obviously disappear completely. And you won't see anything at all. About 30% is often quite a good level for transparency. Because this will let you see text or anything behind it. So if I type some random text and place it, and then this is where wrapping text comes in. I have wrap through. I'll show you how to do this in the next tutorial. The, the image can be placed over the text and you can still see it. Right. One final thing before we go. We're going to be now, I'm going to show you how to align your image on the page. So, you go right click and click on the alignment. Now you have a couple of options. I want my image to be aligned in the centre of the page, so I'm going to click centre. That's all I'm going to be showing you this episode. Next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to use the wrap text and what they all mean to put your images or other objects in front of text or text around the image. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!